have impact on your health is sponsored by Dennis J. Courtney, MD, director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002 for Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AIM Impact on Your Health. AIM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AIM Impact on Your Health, heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney. And I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. Aim Impact on Your Health, where each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, fascinating health topics, and of course, where we do encourage you to call in to join in today. Uh, today we're going to revisit, uh, well, it's an entire company, actually. It's uh, gained quite a bit of prominence and respect nationwide. A uh, particularly good pocket of interest has developed here in the Pittsburgh area. The fact that it was the patients themselves that brought this company first to me a number of years ago. The company known as Standard Process. Now, there are many fine companies out there. This is certainly one of them. We're going to have the representative from a uh, company in our area, uh, Mr. Brian Fultz, is going to be our guest today. We're going to be talking about the Standard Process company in general. Probably going to be talking about thyroid issues in particular. Seems to be uh, circulating around the entire KHB family. Every time I turn the dial, another lecture is going on on thyroid. It's a very important problem. Hopefully, hopefully we can shed some additional light on that subject from this perspective today. If in the course of our discussion with Mr. Brian Fultz, you want to call in to ask a question about the company or specifically about product line or, in fact, about thyroid, which we will be discussing today, that number, as always, will be 412 825-6262. That's 412-825-6262. Mr. Brian Foltz, our guest today, will be right with him right after our first break, about quarter after the hour. Now, looking at schedule issues. By the way, talking about scheduling, I hope you enjoyed. I really did enjoy speaking with uh, Ricky Pepin on Monday. Uh, she is a peppy little gal, isn't she? Uh, she's going to be your featured speaker up there at the Freedom of Choice and Cancer Therapy Group's um, uh, shindig uh, tonight, as a matter of fact. It's really an off night. It's never been on a Wednesday before. It's always been on Thursdays. This one will be a Wednesday night session. Uh, I always like to bring the guest of the month on the show, so we certainly have an opportunity to do that on Monday. Talking about, well, she built herself as a Christian author, a teacher, and a mom. But I think you, uh, if you heard our show on Monday, Monday you saw an approach to uh, uh, teaching, and in, the, in this case, dealing with your health, that I think she's quite proud of. Uh, it worked in, in her own case, treating her son, seemingly a 19-year-old, which had, had one disease after another and another, and in two months, she got it fixed. Anyway, going to be talking about God's health plan the Audacious Journey to a Better Life. That's her book. Uh, and in utilizing a technique that was brought to my attention, I'd never heard of it before, called Principal Approach. First of all, used in education, now applied to health. She says you can apply it to anything. And she promises to let you know what the aha moment was, uh, where she knew it would work for her health problems with her son, and hopefully... Uh, her aha moment might match up to your aha moment, and you can seize control of your own health issues in a similar way. Anyway, Ricky Pepin, the featured speaker up there tonight. Weird night. It's a Wednesday. We're going to be there at 7 o'clock at the Days Inn just south of uh, Butler on Route 8 there, and I uh, hope you enjoy meeting her. Certainly sounds like she has a lot to offer. Ricky Pepin, your guest tonight up there. Now, looking into the future, our schedule goes something like this. We're going to be turning the page this week, folks. We uh, turn it on Saturday. That's the last day of the month. Um, when May rolls around, 
we're off to the races. We've got a lot going on in Maine, and in particular, an interesting uh, session, treatment session, involving Dr. Edward Kondrat, a noted authority in ophthalmological matters. He is a board-certified ophthalmologist, but he also has an interesting um, uh, thing about him where he travels around the country, pulls into town, brings his whole dog and pony show with him, and uh, they are uh, treating uh, people in their eye conditions uh, all over the country, not just in Phoenix, where he now resides. His original Pittsburgh boy um, had his practice in Mount Lebanon, a thriving practice, I should add, but he wanted to go off into far open spaces. Certainly Phoenix, Arizona has afforded him that. But he keeps on coming back to Pittsburgh, and he's due in the second week in May with his famous eye treatment seminars. Now, look, there's two ways you can get in on this, uh, and hope you'll take us up in one way or another. Let's take those who are afflicted. If you truly do have an eye condition that is not responding well from the conventional treatments out there, and um, you know who you are, I've heard from you, we've heard from you here on the radio show, uh, whenever we open up the phone, so allow you to give us a call, you tell such hair-raising stories about your own vision, and uh, the message has come across loud and clear that it's not improving, that uh, you apparently, and in fact, he has been told that um, uh, nothing can be done. Well, those are the cases where uh, Dr. Edward Contra usually picks up the gauntlet and in his, his non-conventional treatment approaches actually chimes right on in. And, and reverses these conditions one after another after another. He'll be here with this treatment seminar on the 9th, 10th, and 11th of May, right here in the office. Uh, people have already signed up. There may be a slot or two more. If you think you want to be included in that group, then this 800 number I'm going to be giving you in a moment is something you'll want to call. If you just want to come and get some general information about eye conditions in general, and maybe uh, check them out if you haven't ever met Dr. Condrop before or even heard of him. And you want to find out more about him. And we have a open general seminar on Monday evening, the 9th, 6 to 8 o'clock, also here at the office with Dr. Condrop and myself. The number, here comes that number, 1-800-430-9328. That's 800-430-9328. Wait till around noon our time. Because that's a Phoenix phone number, folks, and they're not up yet. Uh, but you can sign up to reserve a seat for the general seminar or reserve a slot for the treatment seminar, 800-430-9328. Quick knock on the door. Early caller, come on in the store. Hello, and welcome aboard. What's on your mind? Good morning, Dr. Courtney. Hi. Um, I just have two quick things I wanted to um, ask you. Um, I wanted to know when the next MCG testing was going to be in your office. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I think they always do this, but at the Butler Meeting Group, I guess there's a there's a five dollar charge per person. Uh, you know what? I did see uh, there is a five dollar charge, and um, there was a notation. Yeah, yeah. a five dollar charge it will be assessed at the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, they always like a donation, but um, yeah. it specifically mentioned the amount in that one, so I thought maybe it was more of a... Hey, thanks for mentioning it. I don't think I ever have. I just saw that note there, and uh, yeah, I should bring that to your attention. Seems like a nominal fee for a, a wonderful yeah, evening, exactly. but uh, thanks for mentioning it so I can mention it to those who are thinking about going out there. And as far as the MCG testing goes, I can tell you this. There will be a May date. We haven't said it yet. I keep checking with Jerry to find out when he's available. And he hasn't given me a slot just yet. Okay. But we're, what I'm going to try to do is have a day. I'm, I really enjoy having one day set aside where we just do everybody. And we're, we're really focused on that one day where I uh, have a lot of folks that come through. And we're so, so on such a tight schedule. We've got it refined pretty well now, even though our big hitch last time, and I have to apologize right out of the shoot, we had our first patient. That would delay us about a half hour. And the reason was we had to keep changing rooms because this device is so sensitive that every room we were in, we couldn't get an accurate um, um, test even run because of whatever interferences were in the air. So um, I think we found the room, and hopefully we won't have that again, 
but I will apologize to a couple of folks that literally, even though I don't think we're any more than a half hour behind at any one given time, that really screwed up their schedule, and I promise you it won't happen again. We've got the room. And how many, like, what are the increments you do it, like the slots for the appointment? Uh, yeah, we set them every 15 minutes. And uh, if we get started, and we will now because we had that room problem, I think we know the room to go to and we won't have it anymore. But this thing moves very smoothly, but that first hitch of 30 minutes screwed us up and set us back. Uh, we don't think we caught up the well in the afternoon in terms of a 30-minute swing. That could be very important to someone's schedule. I'm apologizing once again, but the actual test itself still is a six-minute experience. That is all. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Keep listening. I'll let you know when we're going to do them. Thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah, next one. Don't have it scheduled yet. I'll be getting with Jerry on this, and I'll let you know. We'll try to do one a month. The May date is undisclosed. I'm guessing it won't be. It looks like Thursdays are good days. Probably the 19th or the 26th, I'm going to find out from Jerry when we can do it. Another quick knock on the door. Come on the store. Hello and welcome aboard. Yeah, Dr. Courtney. Oh, yeah. I'm calling about my son. Okay, he goes to work. He works construction, and he cramps up constantly. Oh, okay. Um, and he, in construction, I'm pretty physically exerted. The physical exertion, big yeah. part of his day. Right. Um, you know, just off the top of my head, uh, whenever I hear muscle cramping, um, I'm thinking of two electrolytes. I'm sure you may have thought of it already, but, uh, I mean, the two that absolutely have got to be replaced, especially uh, with a good uh, pure form of water to be an electrolyte solution you can make. One's potassium. Okay, good. But you've got you to replace potassium, which you're going to excrete, and magnesium, which is more than likely the, uh, the, the, the nutrient, excuse me, the mineral that's most lacking in anybody's diet. Magnesium is a key. So do you, does he take any supplementation right now? Well, he takes, uh, he takes the multi, he takes the uh, D3, he takes uh, uh, a, a B complex. All right, let's, let's bring in the magnesium, folks, because... Uh, it seems like it's a, just a key ingredient that, uh, without even hesitating, everybody needs. There was a time, by the way, where I used to test the, the, the blood test that they use for serum magnesium is completely inaccurate. And so if you look at a blood test of your own or anyone you may know, the magnesium levels are all normal when they're done from the serum. Uh -oh. But the accurate form of magnesium is only known through something called a red blood cell magnesium level. Now, that's an expensive test. It's a special test. And there was a time in my medical career where I tested everybody over about, I'm going to say, eight months to a year. Everybody ran, we ran a, a magnesium, red blood cell magnesium level. And after that time, when there was not one single person, not one, out of everybody, which was a couple of hundred by that point, it was a, a pretty much a, a clue to me, why am I testing? I already know that you're, you've proven to me that you're already low in magnesium. So I ended the red blood cell testing. I put everybody on magnesium now. And in your son's case, magnesium and potassium are the two things that he's got to replace. Okay? Okay. Would a good mineral do that? Uh, well, uh, you would get, you're going to need to replace, that's a macro mineral. You're going to need to replace that specifically. And, of course, all the trace minerals need to be replaced also. They're used in minuscule amounts, and I don't see that as the real reason for the cramping. It's the combination of magnesium, potassium, one, the other, or both. Make sure it's plentiful, okay? Okay. You're welcome. And how much would you, you say a day of magnesium? Oh, uh, you do. You move it to bowel tolerance, okay? Everybody's a little different. Uh, there's a powder form we have here. Marlene Brecker first identified it called Miraculous Magnesium. There's an erroneous direction on the label that says, take one teaspoon, place in water till dissolved, and, uh, and then take it. Okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> I did that, and it took me about two weeks to recover from the worst diarrhea episode I've ever had. Start out slow, quarter teaspoon, work up to bowel tolerance, and that will be your level, whoever you may be. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. You're so welcome. Okay. Uh, yeah, the magnesium is a key. Uh, looking here in the month of May, what else we got? Well, you got that 800 number. Okay, you wrote that down. 
Susan Smith-Jones will be back here. She's going to be here on the 4th talking about detoxification. We're still in the spring cleaning motif that she last constructed in the month of April. She resumes it in the month of May. Who else comes back? Hey, none other than Dr. David Brownstein. Uh, the topic of thyroid, i got to tell you, it is in the air. Um, I oftentimes in the office have in the background the KHB family, uh, and I know them very well, and they're all very knowledgeable. And they're on, and probably understandably so, everybody's on a thyroid kick, okay? I hear every commentator, every guy who runs a show talking about it, and they should. It's extremely important. We're going to pick up on it today, I think, kick in a couple more things that I think have been lacking in that discussion. But the person who I really have to appreciate for bringing us a way to have that discussion is uh, Dr. David Brownstein. Of course, he uh, would give credit to uh, Dr. Broda Barnes. Uh, the two of them are just uh, uh, they're, they're the shining stars out there on the hillside when it comes to education. And the books written by David Brownstein have helped us tremendously. First one on iodine. We actually brought him to Pittsburgh for a seminar we held back then. And then he just uh, went back home and started writing now a total of nine books. Uh, we're going to pick up with that thyroid discussion with the expert himself on the 13th of May, and that will be here on the show, and we'll be, that'll be a busy week. That's the same week we're doing the um, eye treatment seminar with Dr. Condra. So that's the way that May is shaping up. Also, too, uh, well, I'll let uh, Mr. Brian Foltz discuss uh, when he's coming here, because uh, in the month of May, we're going to actually have a, a seminar that he's going to be a part in, Part, a part of and literally lead on the company of Standard Process right here in the office. I'll let him tell you all about it. All right. Looks like that brings us up to speed at this point. Why don't we do this? Why don't we take that short break? And in the interim, I'll go find him. I spoke to him earlier. He is uh, shopping at the bit, bit, ready to get at you. His name is Brian Foltz. The company, Standard Process. You've heard about him. Uh, I'm proud to have them as part of my family here, and let's see if we can educate you a little more about the company and the family and the product line in just a moment with Mr. Fultz. This is Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow. It seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instructions, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you were looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We okay. offer metabolic nutrition okay. testing, immune okay. system repair, natural hormone replacement uh, therapy, chelation uh, therapy, uh, cutting edge uh, allergy uh, correction, uh, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Want to help your family eat healthier? Instead of learning to disguise whole food with wondrous ways, how about some real nutritional power? If your family has the typical American palate for fries, pizza, and burgers, giving your family the blessings of good nutrition is a struggle. Through the spirit is cancer for your family's nutritional needs. Fruit of the Spirit is an all-natural whole fruit puree made from fresh fruits needed to the Holy Land with alkalizing minerals. Through the Spirit, with five years in the formulation, the work of a team of top nutritional experts with independent science to confirm its antioxidant power. One ounce a day provides the equivalent of five servings of fruits and minerals. Through the Spirit is convenient, affordable, and delicious. Even your picky family will sing the praises of Through the Spirit. Give your loved ones the blessing of good nutrition. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Through the Spirit, a blessing for your good health. That's one 800 442-3793. Call them now. 1-800-442-3793. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AIM Impact on Your Health. Here on KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. 
I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney today with you on this uh, Wednesday version of the show. And in-house with us today is, um, well, you've met him once before. Um, he represents a company that you certainly have heard of before. And uh, it's an intriguing company. It was brought to me first by literally patients of mine. Um, and uh, they felt strongly enough about it that we ultimately brought that product line well within our family of products that we offer here. Um, I like to, every so often, bring a representative from the company on board to let you out there know a little more about them. Today we bring uh, a gentleman who represents uh, the company in our area. His name is Mr. Brian Foltz. Let's say good morning and welcome him back to our show. Good morning, Brian. Thanks for coming aboard. Good morning, Dr. Courtney, and thank you for having me again. Uh, Brian, this company, this standard process company, it uh, it certainly engenders a lot of respect out here in the in the community. Uh, those that know it really swear by the the uh, uh, the products that you offer. Could you tell us a bit about that company of yours? Uh, we get involved with some folklore with each and every company, but you seem to have your own unique story with your company, and it's it's a story that needs to be well told and retold. So I'll give you the opportunity. Tell us about your company, why it is, what it is, who made it so, and why is it you glommed on to that company when you had the choice to go with so many others? Uh, those are all great questions, and uh, I hope we got enough time to tackle all that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Dr. Royal Lee was actually a dentist back in 1929. Started noticing deficiencies just in people's teeth and so forth with cavities and denture, uh, you know, gums and that. And uh, his mother was actually on her deathbed, and he invented our first product, which is Catalin, which is our multivitamin, which is Catalyst for other things. Uh, that, in turn, got his mom better. Uh, she lived another few years, whatever it was, and the doctors gave her three months to live. Well, Aunt Sally down the road wanted some, and then Aunt Sally gave it to a friend, and it just snowballed from there, and that became what is known today as standard process. Um, he found out that there was just not one specific vitamin or one specific nutrient that you need. Uh, you needed a synergistic blend of things because what works work, work well for one person may not work for you the other. But you're going to give you a variety of different uh, forms of, say, vitamin D, or in our case, what's called cataplex D or C or um, iodine or you know whatever it may be. We're going to give it to you and let your body figure it out because you, you have the smartest doctor in you, and you have to just you know feed the body the right nutrients, which is what we're all about. You know, helping to support this efficiently. You know, only drugs can cure and prevent disease. Uh, I know you think differently because that's why we're having this conversation. Uh, and you know what is treatable and what is not treatable. Um, you know, there's a, it's supposed to be a gray area. That's you know, my opinion, but uh, I've actually seen it. I have blood work, um, and I actually looked it up here, and I made sure I got a copy of it sitting in front of me this morning. And uh, we'll dive into that here probably a little bit later on. Oh yeah, we sure will, won't we? <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. And the reason why I picked this company is because my wife is a chiropractor. And she finally convinced me to join the practice with her, and we got the office up and running, and I got bored with being at the front desk, and um, I finally quit my job to be in the office full-time. Um, and we were dealing with, you will, on an as-needed basis from the company, and, uh, you know, pulling from a couple other different companies, but nobody was really getting better. The only people that seemed to really thrive or do really well was with, you know, Standard Process, which is a company that I represent here in Western Pennsylvania. And as a result, I just stuck with that company. We had started attending more seminars, which uh, Jim Marisic, which I'm, you know. Oh, I'm yeah, our good friend Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh -huh. He's been on the show several times. Um, you know, next thing you know, he started coming up and visiting me, and we started getting going with the product. Next thing you know, uh, where I live at, my little Shenango Valley, as it's called, just started getting better. And, you know, when people have, uh, I want to say, unresolvable issues or are not happy with the way they were treated, and sometimes in the medical field, they come find me. Uh, and next thing you know, you know, through a little bit of nutrition, they happen to possibly get better. And, you know, we have kind of blood work to prove that. Um, you know, I, I did listen in on Dr. Brownstein's uh, uh, program you had here, I think it was almost weeks ago. Yes. Uh, it's fantastic. I do have his, uh, one of his iodine books. Just phenomenal guy. Uh, you know, great information. I, I, I love it anytime uh, someone, which I think he comes again next month to you, correct? He's going to be here on the 13th of May, and uh, I'm sure he'll be listening again. Yeah, the guy, the guy's books are they're written in a way that uh, a lay person can understand them, or a scientific person. It's equally as beneficial to either one of those folks. And in all the books he writes, he writes them in that simplistic way that allows you to pick up. It's a quick read. Anyway, we're going to be delving more into thyroid issues on his return, uh, which will be on the 13th of May. And uh, we're also going to 
going to touch on that in your office, by the way. Kim, uh, the last one is, you know, when I was in there what, a couple weeks ago when we set up this radio date, uh, Kim and I decided we're going to do a uh, presentation, a little workshop, if you will, in your office on May 16th, uh, and that is going to be from 4 to 5 p.m., and that'll be a Monday night for everybody that's out there, so once again, it's May 16th. All right, there you went and spilled the beans right out of the chute. So, okay, I usually dangle a carrot for a while, but you went and blew it. All right. Sorry. Tell me about, well, let's just take it right right in line. You mentioned it now. You and Kim got together and you decided you wanted to have one of these uh, little little hoedowns here. Okay. Now, what do you intend to do? What? Why should anyone want to come and meet with you on, uh, you say it's on May 16th, by the way. I have a big note here uh, that Kim put in uh, my schedule book. Four to five o'clock on the 16th. What do you intend to do? Why would somebody want to come? Because I know so many people uh, follow you and follow your company. I guess better said, follow your company and your product line. They've developed quite a bit of confidence in you. Uh, but I will say, you have one of the most extensive product lines of all time, and it gets re- your product line can get rather confusing. Have you ever been told that, by the way? Yes, I have, uh, because we have such specific products for such specific things. Sometimes you will get some overlap in some products, uh, you know, and when, you know, it doesn't mean that they were wrong, it's just that they, uh, the, meaning the practitioner or the doctor or whoever it may be that you're seeing, because uh, there are some NPs and, uh, you know, some other nutritional consultants in the area and so forth that do, uh, you know, use our products in that and doctor's offices and what have you, uh, but, you know, they look at the whole person and what is going on with that person and what they need to, you know, uh, what the physiological change, because we're feeding the body at the cellular level. We're not, if you will, a medication or a drug where, you know, you give it to the body and, you know, like say, for instance, you had high blood pressure. Uh, you know, if you have high blood pressure, they give you, what, a beta blocker or one of those things and says, boom, the body says lower the blood pressure. We're not like that. We would rather treat the body at the physiological level, so at the cell level, and that takes time. So your practitioner has to take an overall general look at the body find the correct product, or hopefully the correct product, uh, and like I said, there's some overlap there, and we have, oh, what, there's over 150, 160 plus standard process products, and then we also have our Medier line as well, which is another, what, uh, 75 or so products uh, tacked on top of that, uh, mm-hmm. but it's, you know, it's all food, it's all, you know, the body, like I said, uh, nutrition that it either hasn't had, uh, hasn't had, or, you know, it just doesn't exist in our area. Well, um, so when they come here on the 16th, what would you like to do with them? Why are they going to come? What are they going to learn uh, and, and, and motivate them enough to want to come see you on the 16th? We're going to talk more about the thyroid. We're going to get a little bit more in depth, like uh, one of your uh, callers called in for Dr. Brownstein about the hypothalamus, pituitary adrenals, and that's the whole entire endocrine system, and we have products to help support that uh, accordingly. Uh, with something that we talked about before in your show called the protomorphogen, which nobody else does have. Oh, well, we're going to talk about that again this morning, too. That is so unique. I absolutely want to bring that up because I think the public needs to know about that. And I'm going to put it in its perspective of when it really could be known that that would be the appropriate uh, a supplement to use. But, okay, so on the, on the 16th... We're going to delve more into all of this. What, what, uh, we're going to touch uh, mainly on the thyroid because that is, like you said, such a prevalent thing. I keep seeing it pop up all the oh, time. everywhere. That's the same reason why you had brown skin on. So mm-hmm. for people who either can't tune into the radio show because this may be, you know, either too early for them or uh, just, you know, because they can't make it. Uh, and and had some people that, uh, like I said, wanted, uh, wanted to put on a workshop. So we're tackling this uh, on a more personal note rather than just have to do it over the radio. All right, so looking forward to that. Uh, I guess what? Give us a call here at the office if you plan on, if you'd like to come. Give us a call just so we know and keep an idea and keep a mindful eye on uh, how many people are going to be visiting. But seven two four nine four two three zero zero two to let us reserve a slot for you. That's on the sixteenth, four to five o'clock. Uh, you're going to be here in the office, Brian. Looking forward to it. Um, this company standard process, I say it has a uh, another unique feature. I haven't heard any of the other companies ever speak of something as affectionately as you refer to as the farm. Could you tell us about the farm? Because I don't hear any other company talking about their farm. You Are you the only one that has a farm? What is the farm? Where is the farm? And how is it that the farm is utilized in the standard process way of doing things? Um, what happened was Dr. Royal Lee was back in 29 in the early 30s and that was doing soil samples from around the country and trying to figure out where the best spot would be 
to grow the products that we needed, to, or the vegetables and so forth that we needed, like Spanish black radish or pea vine juice or whatever it may be, uh, buckwheat. Okay, where he could do, where the best soil would be around the country, and where we, where should we grow all this stuff? Well, when he did the soil samples up in Palmyra, Wisconsin, where our farm is, uh, that's what he found out had the best nutrients and best minerals. That's what you need. And I, as uh, this morning, your gentleman called in with his young son who has the leg cramps. Magnesium works, calcium is another one, potassium. Uh, his multivitamin, depending upon what kind of multivitamin he's taking, could be part of the problem, in my opinion, because that may be causing another deficiency of something else if it's just, if you will, a bunch of what I call synthetic chemicals like Centrum or maybe, you know, a one-a-day product from one of the uh, retail chain shops that, you know, are not what I call a quality product because it's just a bunch of, if you will, what chemicals put together that they call a vitamin. The vitamin should come from food, and that's what Dr. Lee, that's what he was all about, that's what our company's all about. And our farm, like I said, up in Wisconsin, where we grow all this stuff, is 100% organic, it's non-GMO. Uh, it's just a fantastic place to, uh, to go visit when you actually see the soil and where this stuff comes out of and how it's grown and minimally processed, it, it comes in our little brown tablets, if you will. You know, we're not just a, a gel coating or you know, some kind of carnauba wax, if you will, to try and slide it down the pipe. We're actually brown tablets. You chew, taste like, kind of like dirt, because that's where your nutrients and minerals should come from. It, they should come from, you know, either Mother Nature in some way, shape, or form, because you can't fool Mother Nature. They aren't. So uh, I guess the point to make in, in, is... None of the product line of Santa Prefect is uh, synthetic in any way. These are all these are all food and plant derived. Am I correct? Correct. We have what uh, we have some synthetic in it because we have to make a claim. Like for instance, cattle, you're going to get a little bit of synthetic A, or synthetic B, or synthetic C because we're making the claim that as a multivitamin, correct? Yes. As, as I said, so if we don't put a, those minimum FDA amounts, not the RDA. The FDA says we have to put this minimum amount in there to call this a multivitamin. But that's what we have in there, that minimum amount. That's why when people look at the label, they say, well, there's no vitamins in this because you're only getting 25% of the, of the RDA, recommended daily allowance, not the FDA. The RDA just says you're only getting 25%. Well, what you do is you cover that up and you look down below that, you see the pea vines, you see the carrot root, and the bovine liver and so forth. And that's where you're getting the nutrients from. That's where the vitamins are. But if I was to put every single ingredient that's in every single one of those products that goes into that, my label would be, or our label would be <laughs> bigger than the box. It would be as long as you're wrong. Okay. I think the message comes across loud and clear. Like I say, I can't recall of any other company talking about their farm before. And so I ask you, do you know of any other company that has a farm? I don't. Not that I'm aware of. All right. Well, that makes you real special, and uh, it certainly gives, it creates the right image, and I think you want to get out there that these are food source derived supplements and uh, if you have to, uh, I think your answer is you have to put some synthetics in, you have to put some in in order to be able to put an amount on the label, I'm guessing. Correct. Okay. That's totally correct. Because you can't, uh, when it comes to a food source, you don't know and never can really tell what the total amount of any given nutrient is because uh, one, one rat is sitting next to another doesn't have, the, they don't have the same amounts in it. That is totally correct. Okay. So, that fills in those those spots, those spaces. Very good. Now, um, with respect to, oh, you might as well, because the last time you were on there with us, uh, I said you have so many products, it ends up getting very confusing, and uh, you put the number 140, then then you added, I think, 80 more onto it with your MediHerb line. And so the number gets pretty far up there, but your, your multi-line, Follows a little bit of something that I think is a is a good educational uh, uh, way to start today, because you have uh, Catlin A B C all the way up the F or G, and I remember you giving us what what the letter meant. Could you please tell us, and we could all become educated, and we could all understand standard processes multi by just going through a little exercise of A to G or something like that. Okay, uh, well, we started off with Catalan, which is our multivitamin, as I touched on, which, you know, that, that's, like I said, was the catalyst, like I said, for other things. Um, and then certain doctors and practitioners back in the day were starting to use, uh, they, they were coming to Lee saying, hey, listen, can you make just one specific product? And they're like, well, he was you know, starting to try to figure out why, like, for instance, you know, with the thyroid, uh, thyroid still needs vi some vitamin A, as Dr. Brownski touched on, as well as it needs some, some vitamin B. And in our case, we call it Cataplex. So if you ever think vitamin, think from our company, Cataplex, because it's a catalytic complex. 
It's not just one thing. It's a variety of different things that all work in synergy with one another. Okay? Okay. So uh, we start out with A, um, then there's AC. So, so there's Cataplex A. And, and right. what does Cataplex A have? Is it is heavy on vitamin A? That is correct. Okay. Right. So, then there's what? AC. Then there's AC. Okay. Cataplex AC. I'm guessing that it has vitamin C and A. Okay, keep going. I, I I can catch on to this pretty easy. Go ahead. The next one is ACP, which is just has some rutin in it, which is the P vitamin there, which is uh, normally comes from our ciruta, which is buckwheat. Okay, ACP. So ACP. All right. Then we go into B, which uh, your previous caller, by the way, if he called in, there's, uh, there's something called an intrinsic factor to B12, which a lot of people take B12 for energy. There's actually an intrinsic factor, and we can touch more on that because that is also one of those uh, helping the thyroid. Um, and helping with energy levels of production. Okay, um, uh, I'm, I'm up to C and a P, is there a P in there? What else? There's uh, B, B12, and C. Okay. And we have D as in dog, which as you know, everybody, most of the people in the uh, western Pennsylvania, because of our climate, are deficient in, which you do uh, blood work for, them, I'm sure. Okay, so another product, Cataplex D. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we're going to E as in Edward. Okay, and is that, does that have vitamin E in it? Is that why? Correct. Okay. And then we have E2, which is similar to E. It has vitamin E in it as well, but it's a little bit more specific. It all depends on what is going on. It depends upon which uh, which product you might need for E2. Gotcha. Uh, then there's Cataplex F. Yeah, there is an F. What was the F for? <laughs> F is, uh, the easiest way to think of uh, Cataplex F is fat, because it's basically flaxseed, which is linoleic and linolenic acid. Uh, which also helps push push, uh, push calcium into the tissue to help prevent muscle cramps. Okay, so I got that F, and there there is a G, I think. There's a G, correct? Which is the it's basically riboflavin, which is uh, other bees. It's like the calmant of bees. Okay, are there any others? I think we ended. There's one more. One more, and that's GTF, which is basically chromium. The GTF stands for glucose tolerance factor. All right, I think that was a good rapid course in how to understand your product line because if you don't know about P's and G's and B's, you would be confused. But you, you've unconfused me again, and I hope you've helped our listeners really appreciate uh, how they could select a, a one of your products and know what additional emphasis is being placed in each product based on, what do you call it, in the baseline root word, cataplex, and then start adding your letters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you, you are a very sophisticated standard process customer if you want to be. Um, let's swing a bit to the thyroid issue. Um, certainly, and I am not kidding, I mean it is on every radio show coming out of KHB, each of the docs is talking about thyroids in their perspective, and um, I've been listening quite a while, and I haven't heard such an onslaught, and that's good because the disease is rampant here in, in western Pennsylvania. And certainly you come across it an awful lot. So we were talking in the office, and I said, you know what? What this conversation should be should be brought on the air so as to allow our listeners to benefit from it. And it sort of is the basis for why we come together today, correct, Ryan? Right. Um, I'm going to let you take a few minutes and uh, just give me your rendition of uh, how you view thyroid dysfunction, thyroid disorders, how it is that you feel your company really can help quite a bit, and I believe they can very much so help quite a bit in these thyroid disorders, and what some of the products would very well uh, could be recommended, uh, knowing that the thyroid issue is so predominant and prevalent out there, and if there's anything that um, um, probably needs to be mentioned at the start is that um, if you don't know you're a thyroid patient, um, all you need to do is a basal body temperature. And uh, the symptoms that you have oftentimes are being ignored by the poor person who feels so bad for so long, they don't even know what good is anymore, Brian. They actually don't. They just know that's them, and I'm talking to ladies sometimes in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and they have no idea that the rest of the world uh, can live without any of those terrible symptoms. You know, the, the, the cold intolerance, the hair loss, the brain fog, the, the brittle nails, the, the premature graying, the infertility, the list just goes on and on and on. But what they can deal with is a basal body temperature. Please check it first thing in the morning, 
the normal should be 97.8 to 98.2. And if you're not, if you haven't reached 97.8, you are a thyroid patient. You can take it to the bank. And so now, tell us about thyroid from your perspective. You touched on it perfectly because the basal body temperature, there's no test or anything, or uh, you don't have to go to your uh, UPMC, you know, you don't have to go to No the lab test. tests. Yeah, there's no lab test. You just take a thermometer, and how easy is it to either stick it under one of your arms, or, you know, if you seem to get an inconsistent reading, then you just put it in your mouth. So, you know, how how more, how more how much cheaper does it have to be other than going out and getting a thermometer? And, and, and so. the accuracy of it is, so, it, and it so, seems a little weird yeah. because one would expect, well, a blood test. Yeah. There couldn't be anything better than a blood test. Well, so that's the gold standard, apparently. Yeah, well, in this situation, the blood test is not all that it's cracked up to be. I think I'll take, and although I haven't had many explanations, I'll take the Dr. David Brownstein explanation, which is the blood test measures the levels of thyroid parameters in the blood, and that's not where it counts. Right. It has to be in the cell. Right. And, and, and there must be a whole bunch of reasons why what is in the blood doesn't necessarily have to ever get in the cell, and that's the big conundrum, and that's why there's so much confusion out there. And a lot of doctors feeling good about themselves, saying, oh, I diagnosed this problem, I'm not treating it, and look at the blood work change. But a patient that hasn't had one symptom relieved and feels just as lousy as they ever did. So go ahead, break into your standard thyroid discussion with our listeners today. What do you got to tell them? I feel that everybody, almost everybody in Western Pennsylvania, I don't care if you're 18, um, you know, to, to 60, should have, should be on some kind of, if you will, iodine product, just like Ron um, touched on, because we don't have, um, you know, the weather's finally starting to break here, and we're starting to get the nice taste of spring. So the farmers are going to start planting their vegetables. And you can eat, you know, all the best organic stuff, or all the local produce you want in the world, but there's not enough iodine in our soil. There's probably even next to none with the way the area has been farmed. So if you're not taking some kind of an iodine supplement or supplementing yourself with iodine, you can't use sea, uh, you can use sea salt, but you're probably not going to get enough of that. Get some other trace mineral elements and so forth that you need, but if you're using uh, you know, one of the main brand salts out there, it's basically dead. There's, not, there's nothing in it. And a lot of times they actually use bromine uh, instead of iodine to put that in there because they can chemically alter it and put that in the salt instead. And bromine, chlorine, and fluorine, which is all part of the halogen family on a periodic table of elements, all will help or stop the uptake of iodine in the body. So that's why it's probably not in the cell. You can flood the body with iodine, but if it, you have these other two other endocrine disruptors, which is also sugar and a bunch of the lovely, you know, uh, if I could use the word carbohydrates or carbohydrates, as mm-hmm. I like to call them, um, you know, those things are what I call endoc- endocrine disruptors. And that, the thyroid is part of that system. So if you're constantly bombarding it with all of this junk, if you will, coming in, and you don't have enough of the good stuff coming in to either combat it or bat it out, you know, you have you got to start someplace. And you know, almost everybody should be on trace minerals B12 minimum because you're at least going to get some of the iodine in that, and that's one of the reasons why we put it, in, if you will, in our general health pack. We get catalin, tuna oil, and trace minerals B12 all in our little general health pack that we came out with. And, you know, it, it's just such an important thing when you start looking at how the body works and how every 17 minutes, every drop of blood you have from head to toe filters through that point there, right there in your neck or in your throat area. That's just phenomenal. Every 17 minutes. So the body is constantly monitoring this. And if you don't have enough iodine, this, the system probably doesn't, you know, function or work as properly. So you, you may tend to be, you know, hyper or hypo because depending upon what your body is going through or the signs and symptoms, you know, as Brown seems touched on, you know, would, would be the hair falling out or, like you said, you have these women that are coming into your office that are, you know, in their 30s or maybe 40s or, you know, uh, or 60s or whatever it may be, and they don't know that they can get better. And I know you and I had a debate discussion on that, you know, if it's 60, it doesn't matter. I, you know, that's why, if you will, kind of have to disagree with you a little bit. I don't care what age you are. I think it can be helped. That's just my opinion, but, I, you know, I think anybody can be helped no matter what age you are. Um, and as a result, you should, and, you know, when you go to your regular medical doctor, they do your, you know, your testing, you know, your, the gold standard, as we touched on there, blood work and everything, and, you know, so your thyroid comes back fine, but all they're checking is the TSH, which is something else you and I also touched on. Well, why are they just checking the thyroid stimulating hormone made by pituitary gland? Why not check the actual free range, uh, what the thyroid is doing, the free range, th- uh, the T3 and T4? They need to do a full blood panel, but they don't do it. Why is that? Well, because, uh, in my opinion, 
I don't think they really want to take the time to do it. You know, they're overworked and underpaid, and they just want to, you know, spend two minutes with each person, and boom, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, next, you know, next. And, you know, you find other practitioners or doctors, such as either myself or doctors in uh, the Western Pennsylvania area that carry our product line, that care about what, you know, what is going on and want to get people better. And that's where, you know, I love practitioners like that, and, you know, you and I have uh, engaged in several talks and debates and why we're, you know, having this, uh, this workshop that evening in your, in your office. Now the uh, issue of iodine is uh, is just so clear, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one thing that just has to be mentioned is that it it is a geological phenomenon that we're raised up under here. We are born and raised smack dab in the middle of something called the goiter belt. It's known all over the world by any scientific community. If you say goiter belt, they're not going to necessarily say Pittsburgh, but they're going to say Great Lakes. They're going to say, uh, and they know exactly what that means by goiter belt, because, yes, the word goiter does apply to how the gland begins the hypertrophy when it's not working properly. And the reason, the common uniting factor for why thyroid glands don't work in western Pennsylvania or West Virginia or Ohio, Indiana or Michigan, and by the way, they're all in the goiter belt, the reason why they don't work is there is no iodine in the soil. That's a geological phenomenon. It just is what it is. But um, somehow the medical community has lost sight of all that. They've gone to the, the lab testing way of making this diagnosis. And, and Brian, you're very quick to point out the need for the iodine. And it is universal. Both men and women require it. Um, probably then the way this discussion should move into next, once we... Once we just agree, absolutely, you and I both agree, iodine needs to be a part of everybody's supplement regime in the western Pennsylvania area for sure, and substantial amounts of iodine, i got to tell you. Um, and so your supplementation and your product, is what, what product would they be considering to purchase if they wanted to replace iodine the best way they could? What would they be using? It would depend upon, you know, there's several factors to go into that, but if I had to pick just one, it would either be trace minerals, B12, or organically bound minerals. Okay. Those would be one of the two baseline products that almost all people that come into our office, if I had to build a pyramid of, of where we want to take you and we want to build the base of that pyramid, the four founding blocks are, that are at the base of the pyramid are catalin, some kind of a mineral, which is either trace minerals, B12, organically bound minerals, then you're going to get an EFA because you have to, the liver has to convert that. Sometimes it's black oil, sometimes it's oil, sometimes it's vitamin B6, which is black seed, could be chlorophyll or even primrose oil. Uh, so we have several, you know, EFAs, good EFAs for you to choose from. And last but not least, something for digestion. So if I had to build a, a level, you know, or that, that base of that pyramid, those are four blocks that would be at that base of the pyramid, depending upon what the uh, client or patient comes in and is presenting what they want you to tackle. Now, in any one of those products, do you have selenium? Yeah. Okay. Because I think the listeners need to know that you really need to have selenium in your diet because it helps facilitate the role the thyroid hormone plays in the production of it and the dissemination of it. What product of the ones either you just named, or is that a special product over and above? Because I need for my patients to be on a selenium product. Is it in one of the ones you mentioned, or do they have to get a different different one also? We could we could get real specific if you want to and use Cataplex V because it has high it has higher in selenium. But you're probably going to get some in catalyst. We'll get you'll get some in catalyst. You won't see it on the label because it's in more like I said that whole uh, what is called proprietary blend. Okay, that's in there. But you will get some trace minerals of that in uh, catalyst. Okay, so selenium it seems like it's being handled. Uh, iodine being handled. What other issues do you think would be pertinent to the thyroid afflicted that uh, is, is involved with your product line, and that you say? you keep seeing over and over again, does rescue the gland. That, that would have to be the photomorphism then, because... Ah, the photomorph. There you go with the fancy words already, fancy schmancy. Well, All right, tell us about... And by the way, your company is the only company I know of that makes such a product. I think it is a real signature item for you because you make a protomorphogen for every organ that there is. Tell our listeners, what is a protomorphogen? and then why it might be so helpful in thyroid. The reason why we touch on photomorphism, or why I love bringing it up, which we touched on before in your program, 
is the fact that it ha we, the body has oral tolerance where you can assimilate other mammalian tissue. The oral antigen aspect is that it acts as a decoy or um, the body doesn't have to search out the fineness. So say, for instance, you went to your, P your PCP and your PCP referred you to an endocrinologist. The endocrinologist comes back and says you have Hashimoto's or Graves or something like that. They, they diagnose you with that. So the body is attacking its own self. Why is that? And the first case of this was uh, found out uh, in Germany, if I remember correctly, in the uh, late 100s. The guy said, there's no way this can happen. I don't remember what the actual doctor's name was, but he called it autotoxicosis terrificus. Today we know it as autoimmune disease. Okay? And what happened was, if by doing the oral antigen aspect, the body says, wait a minute, I had to search for something to find to attack. In other words, you know, the immune system is getting, getting up regulated and attacking its own body. So if you put the mammalian tissue in, which or the DNA, the nuclear protein, the blueprint, which is what the protomorphogen is, of that specific cell, whether it be thyroid, uh, brain, you know, liver, whatever it may be, because you know, you start, you start to see a lot of hep, you know, hepatitis cases are coming on, uh, around a lot now too. So you know, if you put the protomorphogen in or the oral antigen, then the body that actually frees the body up to accept nutrition in that area and could possibly help repair and rebuild the gland, which is the theory behind all of this, which seems to always work. Which, by the way, uh, the lady I told you about with her blood work. I'll just read it off to you real quick. Uh, her TSH was off the chart, and I'm looking at it right now. It was at 106. That's uh, that's probably a record setter, by the way. Normal normal TSH, ladies and gentlemen, go up to four. Okay. Yeah. They start at one and go to four. So, yeah, okay. Uh, there's a pituitary connection there. Go right ahead, continue. So then her T4, her free range thyroid, was actually at next to nothing at 0.10. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the T3 was at 1.89. Okay, so it was she was she was well below the averages on everything, and they kept trying to push her on synthroids, and she kept finding me and said, "Listen, what do you want to do about this?" Now I'm like, I've been telling you for two years, just the way she was complaining in our office to my wife about, "Listen, why don't we try and tackle, you know, you know, nutritionally? Why don't we try and help support your thyroid?" Oh, I'm okay. My doctor says I'm fine. Well, finally, you know, her blood work finally showed that, hey, listen, it's some time to do something about this. And we had to go through some products, and she had to keep going to her doctors, and she had to keep requesting blood work uh, because I kept telling her to because they didn't want to do it uh, because they kept trying to just put a shin for it on it. Well, they finally did diagnose her, with, diagnose her with Hashimoto's, and we finally had to tweak her supplements to recommend the right products to her, and we actually got her thyroid in six weeks. Uh, the TSH didn't come down because I didn't want to tackle the pituitary gland. I just wanted two specific products. They get the free range thyroid up to T4 and the T3 so that they wouldn't go, they could see a change. You know, so hopefully the doctor would look at this, just would look at the TSH. So in uh, six weeks' time, the T4 in her was at 0 0.10, and in six weeks we got it to come up to 0 0.30, and her T3 was at, point, uh, was at 1.89, and we got it to come up to 2.29, which is almost within the normal range, just within six weeks with our product. And uh, I'm going to ask you what I end up asking patients here. How did they feel? Did their, did their symptoms, did her symptoms improve? Uh, her symptoms did start to kind of improve, but uh, in my opinion, they put what I call fear into her, which is uh, false evidence appearing real, S-E-A-R, and <laughs> they have since removed her thyroid. And they since removed her thyroid. All right. All right, a couple points. Uh, by the way, a fascinating case that you talk about. Let me throw a couple things out there because I said we wanted to have the listener be uh, as entertained as you and I were. You know, we're kicking this thing back and forth in my office. And I said, we need to take this thing on to the radio show. And here we are talking about it uh, as we had envisioned it. Uh, with respect to um, uh, the blood work and um, the, I think the big erroneous thing out there, ladies and gentlemen, I don't need nor do you need to have blood work to make a diagnosis as to whether or not you have thyroid disease. We just got done talking about all those symptoms and then that key, the basal body temperature. But even though I never need to have a, the thyroid blood test in order to make the diagnosis, I would never begin treating someone without having not three thyroid tests. And you talk about T3, T4, and TSH, right, Brian? Th th those are the basics. Okay. Well, you need six thyroid tests, okay? And the other three, instead of the T3, T4, and TSH, which are Authorac, the standard that every doctor orders, they need to order three more. Here they come. And uh, I always love when 
uh, my listeners, you're grabbing their pen, and you have to make sure that your doctor asks for it. Number one, uh, perioxidase antibodies. Number two, antithyroid antibodies. And number three, something called reverse T3. Now, Brian, the six make the complete package, even though you and I both know three are what's being ordered over and over and over again. Um, the, the first two I mentioned, the antibodies, this is what you need to make certain that you do not have an autoimmune problem going on. You get thyroid disease two ways. The regular way, and unfortunately in western Pennsylvania, it's everybody following the regular way, and then you have an additional insult in some cases where your own immune system attacks your own thyroid gland, and the, the names get a little bizarre. They can be called Hashimoto's. They can be called Graves' disease. But the herald and hallmark sign of them is that those antibodies are identifiable and measurable. You need to ask your doctor to make certain that they get ordered. And now, if you find that they're present, this would be the perfect place, Ryan, to bring in the protomorphogen. You understand now? That would be when to know when the protomorphogen would be really appropriate because if you have antibodies are up, you have a, a immune system that's attacking a gland and you need to bring in the decoy. And so, folks, by taking a protomorphogen, your body has another thing to attack other than your gland. It will attack the protomorphogen. That's what a protomorphogen does. It allows your immune system to go at... I, I call it like laying the two-pound ground meat at the at the gate of the mansion so that you can go in and rescue the people from the burning building. Uh, you need the decoy, and that's when you know a protomorphogen will work. The last blood test I'll just mention to you is called reverse T3. It's only been available in uh, maybe six or eight years, but reverse T3 will let you know how much thyroid you've got to give because it acts like a set of brakes. And uh, I hear bongos in the background. It's the crescendo moment, Brian. We've come to the end. Okay. Hey, really enjoyed our discussion. Glad we brought it to our listeners' attention, allowing them to share between the dialogue of you and I. Folks, he's coming to the uh, office on May 16th, 4 to 5. We'll see you then, Brian. Thank you, Doctor. Until then, this is Dr. Dennis Cordy with Mr. Brian Folt. So saying so long for AM Impact on Your Health. by Dennis J. Courtney, M.D., director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McCurry, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002.